Most of us hardly ever think about it. We go to the grocery store when we need to, and the food's just there, waiting for us to buy it. We don't think about how it gets there, about the people who grew it, the people who packaged it, or the distribution system that got it to the store. And you can wait till they soften up, and then it's a little bit more water down. A farmer's market gives us a closer connection to the people who grew the food. When it comes to seafood, though, we see the fish displayed on ice, but we rarely see the fishermen who caught it. There's been a lot of news lately about California farmers in the Central Valley being upset about government rulings that require them to give up some water to protect fish. It's really hard, it seems, for some agriculture interests to understand that fish gotta swim, and for that, they need water. Water is the life force of everything, not just crops. So there are heated arguments about fish versus people, or farmers versus fishermen. But the truth is that farmers and fishermen do the same thing for all of us. They're food producers. And when you look at their work experience, you find more similarities than differences. Meet Walt Schubin. He spent most of his life as a farmer in Fresno, the heart of California's agriculture empire. He's retired now, but he still grows grapes. Now meet Larry Collins. He's a commercial fisherman catching crabs and salmon from his San Francisco-based boat, the Autumn Gale. Larry hasn't been able to go fishing for salmon for two years because the government has banned salmon fishing. The number of salmon making the trip from the ocean back to the rivers to spawn had become so few that drastic steps were taken in an effort to restore the fishery and protect the species from extinction. Larry the fisherman met Walt the farmer when Larry decided to see for himself what California agriculture looked like, to see for himself how the water that salmon so desperately need is being used on the crops in the Central Valley. Traveling through the valley was an eye-opener. But as it turns out, when a fisherman and a farmer sit down and talk, they find they share more than they differ. Listen in and see for yourself. I remember about 12 years ago, down San Francisco, we were catching king salmon, beautiful big 20, 30 pound king salmon. And the processors down on the dock, they said, they kept nailing us on the price, knocking it down, knocking it down, knocking it down until it got to be 98 cents a pound for king salmon. And we told them, we're not going to sell you our fish no more. Mm -hmm. So we put signs up on the boats. And we put a, a thing in the newspaper and on the Portuguese radio channel and the Chinese radio channel. And the next weekend, the people come out of the hills in San Francisco, come down to the boats and gave us 350 a pound. Took two days. The price of fish went back to 250. So then yeah. you had to decide whether it was worth selling them to the people or going fishing, which we do better. But here we're in the same spot as fishermen, that we get paid $2 a pound for our salmon. And you go over to Molly Stone's or, or one of them fancy organic stores, and it's $20 a pound. And we're not getting paid anything. I started fishing crabs 20 years ago, and a crab pot was $65 a gallon of diesel was a buck 60 and the bait was free. I got $2 a pound for my crab. Last year, I got $2 a pound for my crab. $250 a crab pot. It was $4 a gallon for diesel, diesel. and it's a buck a gallon for bait and a buck a pound for bait. Yeah. And I'm getting $2 a pound for my crab. Yeah. It's the same damn thing. The producers in this country don't make the money. That's right. That's right. It's the middle guy, the middle guy, the middle guy, and the, the farmer guy. gets two, three cents a pound for his peaches, and and they're two, three dollars a pound in the store. Yeah, but, you should see. And they the say, and they say the farmer, if they if they give the farmer a couple of pennies, we won't be able to, you know, afford to buy food. Well, that's bull. It's the same thing in farming as it is in fishing. We got crab fishermen that have two thousand traps, and they want to put another five hundred every year in the water so they can gobble up that real estate and every day they got a trap that's been set in four or five days full of crabs. Yeah. 
it's the same thing as a guy growing subsidized cotton for subsidized water being a greedy pig down in the valley. Absolutely. There's greedy pigs in every industry. We have them in, in fishing and you got them in we farming. farming. Yeah. You know, and the bottom line here is for a salmon troller in California and a farmer in California, we're both food producers. Yeah. The common denominator for both of us yeah. is the water. They say fish versus food. Fish is food. And it's a renewable resource without having to subsidize the, the chemical companies. The chemical companies are behind this. If they cut this farming back, they're going to lose money.